Hello friends, happy Tuesday. So it has already been a busy day. We've already done homeschool. I've already gone to the pharmacy this morning and I got something I'm so excited about. Okay, so first of all, shout out to one of my subscribers, Linda Starr, also known as Nellie Starr. She sent me a Target gift card at Christmas, which I hadn't used yet. And today when I was at Target, I splurged. I'm so excited. I picked up four books that I've been wanting to read so badly. So these are brand new books. They just came out, I think most of them came out in February. Oh no, a couple came out in January and a couple came out in February. And um, I, for my, I have a, another channel, The Rookie Reader, where I read books. And for my next reading vlog, I'm gonna be reading just these four brand new releases. It'll be a new release reading vlog. So I'll just quickly show you what I got. Um, if you wanna know more about it, then check out my Rookie Reader channel. It's gonna take me a couple weeks probably to read all four <laughs> of these books, but especially this one, holy cow. Like, I don't know if you can tell like how big it is. It's a big one. Okay, so first, I picked up Bride by Allie Hazelwood. So she wrote the book Love Theoretically. She's written lots of like STEM romances. So this is a little bit out of her comfort zone. It's a, it's a um, romance between a vampire and a werewolf. So <laughs> I'm super excited for that. I was a huge Twilight fan. And this author is actually a huge Twilight fan too. She's mentioned it in her books. So um, I'm excited to get into this and read this. Even though I, I didn't, I wasn't really a fan of Love Theoretically, I am excited to check um, her out, give her a second shot. Then I got The Fury by Alex Michaelides, and he wrote the book The Silent Patient, which was one of the first mystery thrillers that I ever read when I started my reading journey, my journey about a year ago. And it was such, an amazing book. It, you know, it set the bar really high for mystery thrillers. So I think this one just came out in January. This one just came out on February 6th, I believe. So just like yesterday? Yeah. No, today. So like today. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm going to be reading Kristen Hanna's The Women. And Chris, I'm a huge Kristen Hanna fan. She writes historical fiction and I've read two of her books, love both of them. One of them actually made it to my top 10 last year. The Four Winds was part of my top 10 books of the year last year. And um, her books are always like, they always take place, like they always show like really strong women during difficult times accomplishing amazing things and unfortunately living like through really hard struggling times. So like her books are always like gut wrenching in that way like gosh these women's lives are so hard but they're also inspiring because the women um, persevere and just do amazing things and this one's about Vietnam. So her other books I read one was about the Dust Bowl, The Four Winds was about the Dust Bowl and then um, another one was about World War II and I'm forgetting the name of that book right now. Oh, that was called The Nightingale. So I'm sure this is gonna be a totally gut-wrenching book, but I'm looking forward to it <laughs> at the same time. Sometimes I like gut-wrenching, sometimes I like just fun romance. <laughs> and finally, I got one more mystery thriller. I got First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. And honestly, I got this because it's a Reese Witherspoon book club book. I really, every book I've ever read from her book club, I've loved. I haven't read all of the books on the list, but the ones I have read, I loved. Um, in fact, she, one of her books that she had on there called Where the Crawdads Sing, that was the first book I read where I was like, wow, I wanna read more books for fun. Like it, like just, that was the turning point in my life was Where the Crawdads Sing. So anyways, totally different kind of genre. This is a mystery thriller. Mystery thrillers are my favorites. So I am looking forward to reading this one as well. I'm so excited. Normally I just check out books from the library, either lib through the Libby app, the digital books or actual physical books from the library. I very rarely like purchase books for myself. So I'm so excited to actually have some like books that I own. <laughs> Okay, so what I have going on the rest of the day is uh, Jacob's already come in. He already cut all of these stickers for me, so I need to put these in orders. I need to film an unboxing. I received another FabFitFun box, the spring box. I need to do a film an unboxing of that. That um, video will already have come out by the time this video comes out, so if you want to check that video out, you should definitely go check it out. 
I also need to print off more stickers for Jacob to cut tomorrow. I'm going to print off all of my um, Patreon orders. Just in case you don't know, I do have a Patreon where it's like, it's like a subscription plan where uh, my patrons can get a monthly Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck workbook pack, the whole complete pack, all the add-ons um, and, and free shipping. Um, so it's a pretty sweet deal. They just don't get to pick out the pattern. I pick out my favorite pattern from the month. So I'm gonna print those off tonight for Jacob to cut tomorrow. And then I need to work on my budget sticker release. I have most, I'm about halfway through designing those stickers. I um, So I already have all the budget mom ones done. So that's why I know I can fill the Patreon orders now. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. That's a whole lot. Let me go ahead and get started. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Wednesday. As always, the week is just flying by. <laughs> so much is happening. We actually just, we had so many extra, in addition to everything that we normally do during the week, we had two extra doctor's appointments this week. And then I had dinner with Beth this week as well. I mean, which was absolutely awesome and wonderful. Um, but you know, it's one more thing on my schedule. And then I had another appointment. Oh my God, I just, so I had five additional things on my calendar in addition to what we normally do. So no wonder it's felt a little crazy this week. So today is Wednesday. <laughs> Here is my, I haven't started marking stuff off yet, but here's my Wednesday list. It's pretty long. So I needed to send an email to our garbage company. I still need to do that. I need to edit and upload my FabFitFun box. I recorded the video yesterday, so I need to edit and upload it today. I need to edit and upload my most current book vlog for my Rookie Reader channel. Um, I need to continue to work on the budget sticker release. Um, oh, so I have accomplished a few things. I'll check them off as we go. So I had a call a call this morning at 10 a.m., a call a meeting, so I did, that's done. We had a doctor's appointment at three, that's done. Um, and then I have some um, tax paperwork I need to do for one of the companies that I work with. We did homeschool today, that was fun. And then I went to the post office today already. Oh, so I was able to mark a few things off, but still quite a bit to get done before I can head to bed for the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. Okay, quick check-in before I head off to bed. It is already 12.30 at night. I finished both videos, so I finished the FabFitFun unboxing video. You should definitely go check that out. It was so much fun to make. And also the new my newest book vlog, also so much fun to make. So I hope you go and check out both of those videos. I also sent the garbage company an email. Basically, every once in a while, I like stack up all the boxes I get. <laughs> like I, I break them down and I just like put them up against the wall behind me. And once it gets to like a large amount, I contact my garbage company and they come pick them up all at once. So that was, that's what that email is about. And then I also filled out my tax information for FabFitFun so I can actually get paid. <laughs> for um, when people purchase products using my links, I get um, a commission. So um, last time I shared a FabFitFun box, I had one person <laughs> purchase a box and I got a little profit from that. So that was super cool. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, quick check-in before I head off for the night. It's actually quite early for me. It's only 5 p.m. But um, I'm logging off for the night because I have some family stuff I need to take care of. But um, I had a very successful day. I did get the family budget video up, so you should check that out if you haven't seen it. That was quite labor intensive today. It had a lot of parts because we were doing the budget setup for the month and that's just a big video to do. Um, I still, tomorrow is Friday, and I still need to finish Patreon orders. I'm still working on those. And then I need to, uh, this weekend I need to finish the budget sticker release. So yeah, so much going on, <laughs> like always. Hi guys, happy Friday. So I have three things on my list today. So I'm doing a top three for my to-do list. One, finish the patron orders, which unfortunately I can't show you me processing those orders because it is a surprise for my patrons. They don't know which pattern they're going to get. And number two, uh, homeschool and number three, um, we're gonna go to a movie today for Fun Friday. I always let Logan pick the movie, so he picked a movie. Let's see what it's called. 
It's called Anyone But You Valentine Encore. I know nothing about it. Let me see. I'm going to watch the, the preview. Uh, is that what it's called? A preview? Check out the new trailer for my The new trailer. Okay, that looks hilarious. So, I'm, it's funny, he picked a rom-com. So, I'm totally into it. I, if, on my book channel, I recently discovered that I like romance novels, and this movie has a fake dating trope, so I, which is one of my favorite tropes. So, let's, I'm, I'm excited. So, that's the third thing I'm doing today. I'm gonna go ahead, and get these patron orders done, and I'll check in with you a little bit later. Hi, friends. Happy Sunday. So, of course, I did what I always do, and I didn't come back <laughs> until I finish off the video. So I'm here to finish off the video. First of all, that movie. Um, first of all, the preview was way funnier than the movie itself. <laughs> and secondly, there was a lot of nudity in this movie. So, fair fair warning, there's a lot of nudity in this movie. Okay, um, I yeah, wasn't a fan of the movie. I think Logan liked it. Logan liked it okay, but we were both in the mood for a comedy and we both agreed that the, that the trailer was way funnier than the movie actually was. <sighs> that is it for this week. I'm gonna edit this video, get it up for you guys, and I'll see you again next week. Bye everyone.